Hello everyone, welcome to tonight's show. Are we live? Yep. Are we virtual? Clearly. But you know, there's one thing I really miss from being in the theater. And here it is. Welcome all to the Steel City Improv Theater! Tonight's live virtual presentation is Now You're Talking with Dave McCabe. So without further ado, let's start the show. You're watching Now You're Talking with Dave McCabe. Tonight's guests are chicken ranch owner, petting zoo enthusiast, and entrepreneur, Craig Free Range Thompson, and author of New York Times best-selling book, Agnes's Tips for a More Frugal Life, Agnes Weatherby. Tonight's show is brought to you by Mirage Virtual Massage. Hello, everybody. Just waiting on my guest. How does this bloody thing work? There you go, Agnes Weatherby. Now you're talking to Dave McCabe. Oh, hi, Dave. Thank you for having me on your podcast. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, Agnes, uh, hey, I'll get right to your intro, but um, this is a, a video podcast, Agnes. Um, this is not a podcast. This is We Can See You. What? We, we can see you, Agnes. It's... Um, it's uh, it it is there a camera in my microphone? Hello, hello. No, no, no. no. We we can see you. Um, we have the technology. Oh. Right. Oh, oh dear. Oh my gosh. Why didn't you tell me? Oh. Many many emails, Agnes. But we'll work through it. While you're fixing yourself, let's get to it. Agnes Weatherby has gained some notoriety of late as her popular tips on frugality. Her new book. Agnes's tip for a more frugal life is chock full of practical advice and is climbing the book charts. Um, it's, we recently had a, in the city paper, we had a two page spread showing over a hundred of her best known tips. Well, that seems like a lot just thinking about it. So Agnes, um, I understand the, the Agnes's tips for a more frugal life wasn't the original title. Oh, I don't even remember what the original title was. They they changed it on me. I I think I had the word wanker in there or something, and it's all about, oh, that's too rude. Wow. Editors, am I right? Oh, I know. They should just let me go with the flow, talk about compost and toilet paper and all sorts of things to save money. Fantastic. Well, let's get right to it. So... Agnes, what would be you say maybe your number one tip? I don't think we can get through the all hundred here. Oh, well, okay. Well, uh, let's see. Well, I I like to let's just talk about our bums, shall we? <laughs> I like to uh, make my own toilet paper. Um, now I do uh, recycle things. I don't want you to think it's you know I'm just throwing trash away. But uh, uh, for example, um, let's see. Can you see this? Oh, can you see oh. this? Aha! Uh -huh, you fantastic. Yes, these are white and clear. So I use them to clean my glasses and then after, you know, so I, I wipe my glasses and then I wipe my bum afterwards. So I'm, I'm getting double use out of them. I, I see. I see. That's, um, that, that's not your number one tip, clearly. No, no, that's just this extra thing. You know, I'm just all sixes and sevens. I thought this was a podcast. I'm so sorry. Um, yes. Oh, so uh, I like to make my own toilet paper. I got caught without doing this COVID business. And it was quite embarrassing. So I learned all these things, how to get along without it. I used coffee filters and, and napkins and such. But 
But, and I'm so excited to share this with you, Dave, um, I started making my own toilet paper. So uh, what I do, here's a sample, for example. I, I start with, oh, geez, what do I start with? Here, I start with, you know, some of these things you get in the mail, and, and I simply just, you know, tear, tear them up, tear them up, soak them, and put it back together. Let them dry, things like that. But you can't use just anything on your bum, see? You have to be careful. Uh, for example, here, you know these things, if you're going to use envelopes, you have to make sure you take out this cellophane. It is very uncomfortable, if you know what I mean. Hmm? I, I, I do. You do? I, I mean, you have a, you're a very handsome man. We don't want anything bad to happen to your bum now, do we, Dave? Oh. Uh, no, actually, I, I thank my parents for all of this. But yeah, I appreciate your thoughts elsewhere. Well, make sure when you're, 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 use, you're collecting your materials to make the toilet paper. So you take out the cellophane. You want to take out the staples. Trust me when I say you do not want staples in your toilet paper. Uh, okay. I'm with you so far. Okay, good. I mean, well, you're a very handsome man. Are you are you single? Oh, you know, I'm I'm one person, so yes, I am a single person. And I'm but, serving uh, the community with this with this um interview. So Okay, okay. Well, that was a little awkward, so I'll stop asking you personal questions. We'll talk about toilet paper some more then. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Oh, that's okay, because, you know, oddly enough, as I was reading through your book, I was also simultaneously reading another book, and it was The um, Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. Oh, my God. She's so happy all the time. And and like she like declutters and then she says you need to hold on to things and and they spark joy and and i can't say that's ever happened with toilet paper and i can't say whatever happened with recycled toilet paper so i'm really interested to see what you have to the table here well toilet paper does make me happy because i'm not happy when i don't have any so you know so i i get what she's saying though you know especially about the relatives part you know sometimes you just need to toss them all out and other times you, you keep the good ones and you toss out the annoying ones who don't have any toilet paper as you see i have lots of toilet paper in the background everybody thinks i need some that they but i prefer my own homemade it's uh, uh, it's it's just a more personal thing. I don't like the thought of strangers touching my toilet paper and rolling them and packaging them. It's 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 personal. Do you know, do you see what I mean? I see that you're really locked in on that. But I assure you, if you try the ROI on that, the return on investment, I think you should just maybe use the toilet paper behind you. I also understand that you've been um, trying to get your message out. Um, with with the book first and then with seminars. And I understand you want to even try a TV show down the road. Well, uh, I, I don't know how you heard of that. Uh, are you spying on me? Wow, if I only had that kind of time. I'm okay. really Okay, so, well, I, I mean, I, I, I'm interested in a, in a career as maybe an actress or a, or a, a spokesperson. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll create my own brand of toilet paper. Uh, 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 but where are you going with this, Dave? I'm really going towards, um, I've seen so many behind the scenes thing. Remember when Madonna did her virtual thing and she did all that voguing? Remember oh, when- Oh, she's a bloody tart, Madonna. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oddly enough, entertaining. So without further ado, I think we ought to look at this. Um, I saw many behind the scenes and I understand there's a clip that we have available to um, to um, show one of the behind the scenes actions that have happened. So Quinn, if you're what available. What are you talking about? I'm talking about um, we got access to a clip that the, apparently you were in one of your seminars and you were trying to show everyone how to create toilet paper. <laughs> I, I am Mrs. Remember. Weatherby, and I. Oh, what's SKD? 
Oh, it's um, soak tear dry. It's uh, it's my method for making toilet paper. Okay, let me give you some. A, a little kid just ran off yelling, Mommy, I got STDs. Like, like she's not even ready to learn about this yet. But it's just a procedure to make toilet paper. I don't understand. But you need what to find this. a different name for it because here it's unacceptable. Is it good pay at all? No. This lady like, does not pay us enough to put up with her crap. You need to call it something else. You should not be saying that out all in public. That is not right. Oh, well, wait, go sit down. You bloody wanker, get out of my face. What? I'm just going to take this not water and I'm going to... <laughs> she threw the STD liquid at me. Yeah. I hate this job. I... I didn't even want to be here. I wanted to be an actor, but I got stuck with the umbrella. Well, uh, that, that is just, you obviously have doctored that video. You bloody wanker, you. Yeah. How I, could you show that? Well, as it happens, I, I see you used STD, and, and I've got the, the benefit of having many editors always watching my thing. And really, I'm not an engineer. But if you just would have switched it around, we wouldn't be talking about STDs and all of that. You clearly no, no, STD doesn't think what you think it means. It is right. it is simply my process for making toilet paper. I soak, tear, dry, and everybody just went bonkers about it. I don't know why. You know the test kitchens at Consumer Reports could really help you out here because it's hard to tear something that's soaked. So it could have easily been tear soak and then dry i think you're spying on me and you're doctoring these videos and well this is just fake news and i i don't know why i'm even on this show i, I i'm just well you can just bug off you bloody wanker wow tangerine all right everybody that last word was you know safe words have many uses like the one you just saw it demonstrates the bond between a host and a tech. And thank you, Quinn, for having my back. And now, a word from our sponsor. Ooh, are you intimidated by conventional massage practices? Do you fear your post-quarantine massage sessions will involve this person? You've grown so close to your beloved pets. Now you can't imagine leaving them home alone, but you absolutely need a massage. We've developed Mirage Virtual Massage to address all of these concerns and more. However, it can be somewhat hard to explain. So we're letting our clients do the talking. Just seeing those fingers come at the screen, I know I'm gonna have a really relaxing time. I am a hardcore journalist and a master interviewer. Sometimes you really have to lean into the story and really dig for facts. Well, okay, I'm not really leaning or digging, but I think that's why Mirage Virtual Massage really meets my needs. Just knowing Mirage Virtual Massage is available whenever I need it, I take breaks all the time. My job's demanding. I'm at my keyboard all day chasing deadlines. With Mirage Virtual Massage, I can keep working during my massage. They gave me the option to set up my own candles, my own table, and my own music. They know I'm a discerning customer. Mirage Virtual Massage gives you that at-home experience. Oh yeah, I have candles lit each time. They suggest you set up some cucumber water and, and dim the lights pre-massage. Mirage Virtual Massage really gives you that I work at a spa feeling. You know, just thinking about the hot stone treatment puts me in a more relaxed state. I work out a lot. And with Mirage Virtual Massage, I don't feel any worse. After a hard day of thinking about working out, there's nothing I enjoy more than the idea of a great massage. Mirage Virtual Massage provides just that. One time, Sven gave me the most soothing leg massage just by breathing into the microphone. No, it's not creepy at all. You know that oily, greasy feeling you get with conventional massage? With Mirage Virtual Massage, there's no oil. You leave 
smelling and feeling just like you. Thank you, Mirage Virtual Massage. Thank you, Mirage Virtual Massage. Thanks, Mirage Virtual Massage. You're a lifesaver. You know, I'm not just a spokesperson. I'm a client just like you. Thank you, Mirage Virtual Massage. Schedule appointment soon using the code Now You're Talking with Dave McCabe and you'll get a special offer. Do it now before the offer fades away. Oh my God! Craig oh. Free Range Thompson! Oh. You're talking oh with Dave McCabe! Oh, oh, thank you so much for having me on! This is like a dream come true! I never you know, thought I had a chance to see you like this. This oh. is great. Hey, I'm sorry about you, but uh, for, for those who haven't heard about you, he's a long, lifelong chicken ranch owner, petting zoo yeah. enthusiast, and entre entrepreneur. And what I'm hearing is, thanks to a recent Netflix docu-series, he's been inspired to an expand to a more exotic... Oh, ha, ha, yeah. Yeah. Man. Just welcome to the show, Free Range. Oh, thank you again. Thank sure. you. Again. And you got your name because chicken farmer. When did that start? Oh, I was. I've been raising chickens since I can remember, uh, and uh, they're just delightful creatures. And you know, they're just—they're always so warm and cuddly. And it's just—you know—I build this bond with them. It's—it's it's fantastic. You can't go wrong with a chicken. You know what? I, that's what I keep hearing from you. And what's really amazing to me is, is like that bond that you actually have with the chickens. So how does that start, let's say, in the chicken's life? Well, with the chicken, what I do is I, I get the egg, right? You know, and I just yeah. flush it up nice and neat. And I whisper to it, ha, ah, you're going to have a great life. Like a like a mom and dad talking it, to the baby in the womb, exactly. right? Exactly, and then I and I tuck it back under there, and when it's born, you know, I'm like the second thing it sees after its mom, and I, I bring that fluffy little guy together, and I give him a little brush, and oh man, and I just talk to them, let them know they're loved, and that you know they can love me back, and and it's like we become a family, really. So it's Craig Free Range Thompson and his family chickens. And, it, and it, it, it works beyond chickens, though. I mean, that bond of love can go with, you know, dogs, cats. Wait a second. What you're telling me is this technique that you're using works across all species. All the animals, yeah. yeah. Like, okay, so that, I, I'm not sure how that could work. I mean, like, you're telling me, like, let's say a goldfish, if you raise a shark the same way, there's no difference. No, no difference. I mean, the thing is, is you just got to be willing to get wet. You get down in there, you feel them, you, you give them that hug, and they, they just, you know, you just pet them. You get them nice and tight, and you hug them, and you let them know, I love you, Mr. Shaw. Man, you know what? We really need a guy like you in these time of days, for sure. I really appreciate that. So tell me. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I, I, I can't stand it anymore. I see what's behind you. And oh I yeah! And here my chickens and uh, I heard you spent this. your life, your life savings to get a tiger cub. Yeah, I mean it was. Uh, some people think it's a little silly to spend all my money on a, a tiger cub, but you know, uh, I watched this Netflix show, and uh, you know, it was it was inspiring. Yeah, Ooh. I said I can do that. I can do that. Oh, dude, um, great. Uh, I'm not quite sure you didn't see the whole series because, you know, that ended up really bad for some folks. Uh, you know, I, I watched enough to know that what they did wrong and that I could do a better job. So, so you're, so you've bought this tiger cub. Oh yeah. Sneaky. I call him. Sneaky. No way. Why are you yeah. going sneaky? Well, you know, he's always pouncing, you know, like <laughs> come out at you and, you know, start, start playing with you. And it's just the cutest thing. Right. So, so you're raising, um, clearly you've got free range chickens, so they're not yeah, yeah. in a coop or anything. Hey, my name is Craig free range Thompson. It ain't Craig put him in cage Thompson, you know? Right. Okay. So that's going to work easy for the chickens, but, um, this tiger cub, you're, you're going to have him in a cage, right? Uh, Dave, what did I just say to you? You think I'm um, lying? 
No, no, sir. No, no. The, the bond requires trust. And if you throw the animals in cages, it just, they're like, what are you doing? Why don't you love me? You're, you're locking me away. Right. So uh, the tiger, tiger's free range too. So, so Sneaky is not in a cage. No. no. And is Sneaky out there with the Go chickens? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when he can, when he can see them and catch them, you know, he likes to play with the chickens and you know, it's a, they they are like a, they are just bonding together. It's just, is there less chickens somehow in the free range? No, no, they're they're free range. I'm not I'm not trying to control how many chickens or where they all go. That's up to them. They can travel wherever they like. Right, but um, coming from my work background, what gets measured gets managed. So how are you managing having this free range tiger cub in with your free range chickens? All right, you know what, Dave? Let me let me get sneaky for you. Okay? Oh. Maybe that'll you know, help you understand how, how we do this thing. All right, I'll be I've back. Been bouncing, waiting for him. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yeah, there's a good sneaky. There's a good sneaky. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay. See oh, my God. Oh, yeah. 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 Sneaky is, uh, this is Dave Sneaky. Sneaky Dave. Hi, sneaky. Uh, 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 sneaky love. Okay, Sneaky. <coughs> Sneaky loves people, and uh, yeah. he, he comes when I call him. You know, he, he he's friendly and all. And actually, you know, he, I'm gonna give you a special treat. I'm gonna oh. Sneaky right here. You know, I'm gonna make sure oh, you, you got, got some tigers milk for them. And when you feed them, they like it. Yeah. So I got some uh, Mountain Dew here because you want. Whoa, 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 whoa! Mountain Dew. Fascinated. I shouldn't yeah. drink Mountain Dew. Yeah, Sneaky loves Mountain Dew. It gets them all wore out up. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, all right. Well, Sneaky, all right, maybe Sneaky doesn't want to eat. Sneaky! He doesn't oh, gee. Are you okay? Mountain Dew right now. Um, you know, I'm a, oh, Sneaky, go go play on the floor. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, and hey, I won't give Sneaky what I won't get. Mm. Dude, you shouldn't be drinking you know? that. We, we share. So this is a part of the bond. This is this is what makes this ow, yeah work. sneaky sneaky. Uh, it's all part of the, the the bond that sneaky and I share. You know, sure, you know he 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 gets it. He understands what I do. It's it, it, it sounds like he's getting you right now. Well, he's a he's a he's just playing. You know, he's a he's a happy little guy, and, and you know, he, 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 sneaky down down. You know, he, so so you're starting with this. this are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Sticky is just okay. So, 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 so I understand yeah. you're opening up your um, your petting zoo in a month, and, and your star attraction is going to be Sneaky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sneaky. Like children? I say that they're sneaky. People petting, uh, petting, sneaky. Petting, yeah, they can they can pet them all they want. You know, they're gonna come in, they're gonna romp with the chickens, and uh, and uh, then they're gonna. Oh, he switched over. <laughs> oh, <are you> okay? <laughs> He's a sneaky guy. And you sneaky get to play the with the chickens. And, uh, and then, you know, then you, when you come across, Sneaky will jump out at you and you can <laughs> go and hold him and give him a nice little pet. Yeah. yeah. Sneaky. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> like he's really, he's really. Nice sandals. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, he's, oh. he's great with, you know, he just enjoys Okay. <laughs> With this one tiger cub, oh, you're all right. You okay? Is he just being? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, no problem. No, nothing wrong here. Same experience you had with your chickens. Uh, you know the chickens, uh, they don't, they don't have the, the, the you know, they, they very rarely get as uh, rambunctious and as, as feisty as sneaky. Good God. Uh, hey, you know what? Since you just fed them, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you feed them between meals as well. What's his oh, favorite? Yeah. Habit? yeah. Uh, Sneaky's favorite food is actually hummus. I feel a delightful bowl of hummus, and you know it's a special treat. Sometimes I give him a little little fennel seed on top of that. And, you know, he, I, he loves. I think Sneaky's favorite snack. Is oh, Sneaky, go, there. Go to your Sneaky. Oh, I'm sorry. Sneaky just wanted to pet me. Uh, you know, Are you okay? share that back and forth. Okay. Yeah. So, what's Sneaky's least favorite uh, snack? Sneaky really hates Brussels sprouts. Uh, I hate them too. Get them. All right. Yeah. Them. 
you no, the, cook them with butter and little. Sauce. You know what? Urban Tap has some good um, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> hey, um, listen. I, I clearly, <laughs> you're, you're getting wrapped up here, buddy. I just got let a couple. Me, let me just let me just pet Sneaky. Oh, me. sure, sure, yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. Couple seconds of care. Hi, Sneaky. Oh yeah, you're oh, creating that fun. Sneaky, what are you doing? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's all good, Dave. It's all good. He's oh, you're you're right there. I, I see a little mark or oh, something. Oh, what 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 this? No, <laughs> oh, geez, geez. Are you all right there? That's Peter? okay. Yeah, sneaky. Yeah, sometimes his claws are a little stronger than he. he right. So you're gonna declaw him, I guess, before the petting what? Dave. That, what, Dave? Craig, free range, Thompson. You think? Uh, ow, ow, sneaky. <laughs> I'm gonna actually cut the claws off of him. Oh, dude. Um, hey, bro. Uh, so, stop. stop. You're hoping. <laughs> you're all right there. Uh, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> in, all good. In, in five years, where do you see yourself? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, five, five years of uh, <laughs> thinking that two or three more cubs. <laughs> you're yeah. kidding. Give, friend, give, give some friends to Sneaky. I'll bet two years. Sneaky uh, each two. Uh, then you're pooped out. Uh, like, hey, oh, wait. I just wait. don't love Free Sneaky, I love you. I love you, Sneaky. What, oh, what, man. Pearl and Gates. I oh, just, gee. Yeah, I, hey, I'm I'm yeah, love, love, love Peter to say, I love what you, you're doing, Craig. Free Range Thompson building up the ball. Ah! Oh, Thank brother, you. brother. Ah, Sneaky, why are you doing okay. this? Okay, hey, listen. I think Pearly Gates, uh, you think Peter, uh, he's going to say, uh, Greg, uh, three range. Uh, you sneaky. You should have said, Sneaky. I'm okay. Oh, oh he's gone. Um, no, uh, no. Sneaky. Hey, listen, we're going to uh, get yeah. a little bit of help on there. But uh, that's uh, our okay. show. So uh, thank you, you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Do, 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 do.